Well, welcome in, everybody. Welcome to an edition of Golf Talk Radio. We are live. It is January 18th, 2020. We are back in studio. Had a little break there for a little bit, but it's so good to be back. My name is Billy Gibbs. That guy's Mr. Mike Brabinick. Good morning, Mike. Hi, Billy. And as always in the headphones is Hop. Hi, Hop. Happy New Year. I'm sorry. What did I miss? <laughs> hi, Hop. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, Hop. Hi, uh, hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, guys. How are you? It's so good. Oh. You're just peachy. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> I wish shake. I could run my hands through both of your hair. Yeah. I need that right now, man. I need some <laughs> love and sympathy. For sure, I know. I know. You mean you mean our late night conversations via phone yeah. don't don't do it for you? We could have we could have talked all night last night, Hop. Billy, you just it's you know I'm sitting on I'm I'm laying on my bed. I got mm-hmm. my 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 feet curled up next to me, and I'm I'm on my princess phone talking to Mike, and I know Mike's laying on his bed with his head hanging <laughs> off the side on his his princess phone playing with his hair. Yeah. And, oh, we talk about boys and. <laughs> recipes. We just go it's, on it's, and on. Our feelings about life. I'm really it's glad you guys are building this relationship. I really am. It makes me happy to know the two of you have this bond. And Mike uh, broke down and cried for me a little yeah. bit. Hey, I, cri- that, I cried in. You know, I cried in sympathy, and then you know. Well, I there hope- are some things we agreed we wouldn't share like that. Op. That's that's uh, mostly though. We listen to each other breathe and say things like, "What are you doing? Well, <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what are you doing? So, Nothing." You guys are so cute. Wait, we should let's still talk about this on air though. Let's wait till we. You know, all right. So, yeah, let's, let's, all right. So let's get. So turn on the mics. Uh, well, nice job, guys, and uh, thanks for including me. <laughs> you're always. I stare at my phone. You're. <laughs> I just stare at it all night, going, "I wish I had." Something well, to I have to. a picture of you on my nightstand, Billy. <laughs> so that's. <laughs> oh, you got. You got. I it don't there. have. Yeah. All right, as long as you got it. So, what do we got going today? It's been a little crazy morning here <laughs> on the Central Coast, but we are both here in studio, and now it is time to have a little fun. We're going to have Chris Rigby, the owner operator of the Patrons Caddy. He's the guy that does these amazing packages for the Masters. Believe it or not, it is Masters time. If you're thinking of going, you got to think about it now. He's got a few packages <coughs> left. He's going to share what he's got going. Plus, there's a brand new package that's pretty darn exciting. Man, I'd like to go to that one as well. So, uh, we're going to talk to him in just a little bit. Um, the history of the golf club. People have been talking about the history segments for a long time. They want to do the history of Golf Talk Radio, and Mike and I's memories aren't that good, so we have to have some research, but we think we'll be doing the history of the Golf Talk Radio here in a while. But uh, history of the golf club should be fascinating. That's coming up here later in the show. Um, the truth about slow play on the tour. It's, is it getting a bad rap? Is it really slow play on the tour? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's a big thing about amateur, trying to speed up amateur golf, and that's why they changed a lot of the golf rules to hope speed up play. But right. then there's the, the tour gets this bad rap. How you know how these guys are out there that are the best in the world take six hours to play. Is it is it really that slow? And uh, there's a, a an unnamed tour pro who was interviewed, um, and uh, why he was unnamed I'm not sure, but he was at least he was candid and explained a few things. So it's a pretty interesting conversation, and we'll share a little bit about it and throw our opinions in there too. So. Um, and, uh, and whatever else comes up, the uh, truth is I've been out of town a lot and a lot going on, so I haven't had a chance to talk to Mike but once in about since the new year. So, hi, Mike. You look good. You look, you look like you've lost some weight. You're looking <laughs> do right. I feel? <laughs> I, I so, do I look smooth? Does, look the smooth. Face, does the face look smooth? It looks kind of, yeah. It looks a got, little. Con, your complexion is excellent right now. Is it? It must be your new buddy. You want to hop? Just <laughs> oh so it feels good to open up and share you guys, I'm, right? Doesn't it? you got two buddies to share stuff with. I'm very surprised um, that my I, The first time you see me since I'm 60. How do I look? I know. You look awesome. Uh, I'm pretty good, huh? I'm hot. You, look, you do, man. And I was saying, I was saying that. Billy uh, Gibbs, you are hot. I I am hot, man. I was saying that your your posts on social media for your walks on Pismo Beach, I just love them. I yeah. look forward to them every day, man. It's just cool. Now, yesterday's walk had those horses, so it was really, you know, it was just yeah. me and three horses. Shirtless? Um, well, I tried to jump on one naked just to ride up and down the beach, but the ladies took off. It was weird. <laughs> if you do that, I want to replace that picture with the one okay. that I currently have. <laughs> <laughs> the trouble is jumping on the horse and holding your phone at the same time because I dropped it like three times. You know, and then I was going a on lot the, of bounce. I was entering the horse on the right, the right side of the horse, and they said that was wrong. <coughs> I was supposed to get on from the left. I don't know. It was all kinds of issues, but it was beautiful out there. Um, what side are you supposed to? I get think on? it's on the left, man. What if you're left-handed? It's, it's, you start with your left foot, anyways. You got to kick your right foot up over. 
So it doesn't matter if you're right hand, what you're, whether no, you're right hand or left handed. Horse doesn't know that. No, I imagine you mounting a horse like the old cowboys of old, just running up from behind and jumping up over the butt and landing right in the saddle. <laughs> <laughs> Billy's got that kind of. I, he's he's that I, athletic. He I can pull that, that off. Move, man. And so <laughs> you could really <laughs> nail that. So we're gonna start off today. I'm gonna. Sh- I'm just gonna share some things that just happened to me for my BM in the morning, and I think Mike actually just did a BM in the morning. Um, the new code, the new VIN number to get into the <laughs> yeah. This place Fort is Knox. this place is Fort Knox now. <laughs> well, there's high security when you're in the building. Seven or no, actually eleven digit codes to use the bathroom. Did you see the <clears throat> the, the, guy, the guards up in the roof? There's some stuff no. going on around here. Oh yeah, they're they're hidden up wow, there. Wow, got So they look like heaters and, and air conditioning ducts, but they're people. I think we should at some point we need to time how long it takes us to get into the actual studio. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Like if someone quick. asks for directions, like, hey, how do you get here? Like here, it's like okay, turn the first lock, quarter turn. Yeah, right. right. Good. I will. T- uh, let's videotape. Push, it push one. this. Now you're going to go to door number two. You're going to enter code blah. Door three, code five. Code door three is code four. Oh, it is. Yeah. No wonder. Oh, door, I, code, go, door four, four is code three. So I couldn't get. Yeah, that's why the that's why you were late. That's why. I, now I understand. Yeah, well, we're, we're, I'll have to re- will you review, break, review, review that with me because it's all the security. New. 2020, features. man, things yeah. have changed. So, but anyway, I want to explain what happened to me at this beginning of the new year. Oh, I had a couple of great things uh, came across my my life since I've turned <laughs> on January 5th. I turned 60, so my wife snuck me away for three days um, to Las Vegas and, was, and and got a suite at the Bellagio, which was the best hotel room I've ever wow. been in and seen. Pretty special stuff, man. My wife, I knew we were going to Vegas, but I didn't kind of know what the rest of what was going on. Bellagio wasn't the one in the movie Hangover, was it? Where they stayed? I don't or is that, know. Uh, I, there was a couple of tigers walking No, the, the that was um, MGM. They were staying, no, they were staying at Caesars. Okay. Bellagio is the main hotel that they're standing out in, in the in the very um, end of um, Ocean's Eleven with the water fountains and all that. That's Got the it. Bellagio. And that was the view you had from your room, wasn't it? I would it? really like to share my story. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You know, you two, my, my, you two my, little, my. you guys, I know you're best buds now, right? I know <laughs> it, I get it, and I appreciate that. But I'm sharing a story here. Sorry. My apologies. I'm, I'm okay. sorry. Don't do respect, you guys, and I'll let you guys chop, and you can talk about it tonight, okay? Okay. <laughs> By the way, it was the hotel at the very end of the Ocean's Eleven when they were standing outside <laughs> after, and the, the fountains were going. That, that's the That's hotel. what I was thinking about. Sorry, I got the movies mixed up. <laughs> Proceed. So, anyway, the mic is yours. We had a, a, the Fountain View suite. Uh, it was just awesome, and we were there three days. And she spoiled the heck out of me, and we just had the best three days. We also we took long drives. We went out to Colorado River, out in a town called Nelson, which is a little bitty town out of nowhere land, um, little little uh, mining town, and it goes right up to the edge of the river and stops. No one out there is about an hour from the city. If you're in, staying in Las Vegas and want to get out, man, take that drive. It's just beautiful. Um, Middle of summer at two in the afternoon. Yeah, you should. Yeah, don't walk. That that you know you don't want to get out and walk. But it, it was it, you know it was really nice. So so I had that great trip. It ever ended. I actually came home with more money in my pocket than I left. Didn't gamble much, but when I did, I won. So that was yay. Kind of, that was kind of nice and unusual. <coughs> Excuse me. So did my wife, which was very cool because she didn't gamble at all. So she played a few minutes and she won. So that was kind of fun. So we kept pay for the the trips and um, and then after I got home. A couple days later, um, my oldest friends from years ago when we were in our 20s lived together in this house and when we were crazy and wild and haven't seen each other for, the three of us haven't been together for 33 years. Were those the guys you streaked with when you had the cast? No, that was oh. different friends. Those are older friends. So those You are, have great friends. I do have great friends. So one of my friends is doing exceptionally well, and he uh, decided that he just turned 60 as well, and, and I did. So he said, let's get together, bring bring the team in. So he flew us all to, uh, we flew all to Palm Springs. First time I've flown to Palm Springs, at least seen I lived four yeah. or five hours from it. Right. But, you know, I'd go to Phoenix and then down. But it was awesome. So we had three days, went out. We took the tram up to the mountain. If you've been to Palm Springs, and there's this little tram that goes up to Mount to, to San Antonio or whatever the mountain is up there, it's about 8,000 feet. There's a cool tram ride. You got to take it. If you don't like heights, don't go. Uh, I'm kind of. <laughs> I'm it, on the borderline. It's about thirty people in the tram, and it and it uh, it circles. It, it rotates. Does it swing? It's absolutely. When the wind when the wind's blowing, oh, it does swing. It... When it goes, there's like five um, towers, and after it passes each tower, it it rocks back and forth. It's oh, like you get yeah. that little stomach thing, and it, oh, like, and it is awesome, man. If you like heights and like something to do, man, go up that tower. It's worth every penny. 
And so, and we went to, we stayed, we rented a house where my friend rented a really nice house and it had the pools and the hot tubs and we went out to dinners and we just hung out and played cribbage and, and reminisced. And we just reminisced about old stories that at some points it felt like we never left each other. It mm -hmm. seemed like we went right back where we were, although we're a lot older and can't quite party like we were doing. Yeah, then. Right. But, um, but one of my friends tried, we, we tried, we, we went to casinos, there's, you know, casinos all around Palm Springs. So we went out to Messed around with that a little bit, but it was a three great days of celebration. <coughs> played golf. I actually played golf, and uh, it was nice. I called the golf course. I didn't know where we were playing because he had it set up, and I think it's called Taquitos Golf Course. And they were wonderful. So I called and mentioned PGA, and so I was last minute, but I didn't know where we were playing. So don't know if they can do anything for us. They said, "Oh, come on down." Told you know, told him my birthday, given that whole story. So showed up. They gave all three of us the PGA rate. So the, wow, so nice. Twenty five bucks a piece, and it was carts and range balls and golf and the whole shebang and. So it was really nice of them. They took really good care of us. Right on. And it was a you know really fun, pretty golf course, fun day, laughing the whole time. So, so I started my 60th year off pretty darn cool. Besides a few crazy personal things that are going on, but besides that, awesome. So I wanted to share and thank my wife. I have the best wife ever. So and while I was gone to the Vegas, Palm Springs, I, we've had some we have some tragedy going on in the family, and uh, she took care of all the stuff behind the scenes without including me so I can try to keep it out of my mind, which is a, which is a gift in itself. And so she rocks. So Josie, if you are listening, I love you so much. Thank you for doing all that. And that's all I got, man. That's my BM in the morning. It's good to be back in. I can't wait to have some fun on this show. And, uh, your, your eyes look a little glossy. Mike, you've been up late. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You weren't talking to hop though. <coughs> not last night. No, I all wish, right. I wish I could say last night was one of our nights. It was, right. it was, it was, it was just, my kids being teenagers. That's all. Yeah. But I just wanted to say a uh, uh, happy birthday to you. And I cannot wait to see or hear from you when you try your new driver. Yeah. Thank you. Because finally, I finally, and I want to thank Dave Anderson with Ping. They oh. were, he was able to pull some strings for me nice. to help out. And because, you know, getting a left handed driver can be very difficult. Yeah. I've, I've realized that most of my life. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I felt that uh, for the last, three, four weeks yeah. trying to get the thing, and uh, but we got it, and I gave it to you this morning in well, the parking lot. Well, I know. Lot I haven't had a chance to appreciate it yet, but I will. Yeah. I've got a big class I'm teaching today, an adult class, uh, right after this. i got to get, you know, go, and I'm going to bring it out and make some swings with nice. it. Nice. I appreciate it. Thank you. It was very yeah. Kind, very kind. And, Billy, I yeah. want to say, all, in all seriousness, mm -hmm. uh, happy birthday, and, dude, it's a better world with you in it. And, <laughs> and That's I, nice I, of you, huh? I appreciate you very much. That's, I appreciate you saying that. Thank you very much. I agree 100%. So cool. with that, why don't we take our first yeah. break, and we'll come back uh, with Chris. Sure. Sounds from the Patrons Caddy. So, again, Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy right here on the Golf Talk Radio Network. You guys stay with us. We're going to have Chris Rigby. He's the owner and operator of thepatronscaddy.com. And uh, check out the patronscaddy.com for 2020 Masters packages. We'll have a full-length interview, give you all the insights on what you need to do when you go to the Masters. And uh, speaking of Masters, Chris is the master of Masters the master packages. master of the Masters. Yeah, he's the master of the Masters. Oh, you should write that down. He's going to... I told somebody that yesterday. They asked me if I'd ever been to Augusta, and I said, I say it all the time. I'm like, man, we went Patrons Caddy. Yeah. I, I couldn't imagine doing it on our own. I really couldn't have. It was, it was just well, a Well, you being Hop could do it. What's that? The three hop you and me could. We do could it. pull it off. We could pull yeah. it off. Yeah. All right. Maybe. No I, doubt. Yeah. All right. You guys stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 